We welcome you inside the Dollar Loan Center in Henderson, Nevada for a brand new season of NBA G League Ignite Basketball. New crop of players, young prospects, potential number one and number two players to be picked in the upcoming draft. This is what Ignite was started to do, was to create opportunities for these young men. Last year, it was a spectacle here. We're having another one tonight. I'm expecting a really exciting ball game. It's about us. So if we come out and do the right things, we're going to win because you guys should be, that should be your mindset. Don't get bored. Don't get bored with being perfect. Fellas, let's go out there and play some defense today. Yeah, we got it. The NBA is going through a transformative period with parity at an all-time high and no team dominating quite like the Golden State Warriors dynasty. The league is embracing a new era where identity is king. What do I mean by identity? Well, great teams build a clear, recognizable style of play. It starts with the stars and the coaching staff, but extends to every player knowing their role. In this era of parity, the so-called role player is more important than ever. Talent is spread so evenly across the league that these super role players think Drew Holiday, Derek White, Kristaps Porzingis, or Draymond Green. They become pivotal. They can do many things well, helping their teams win games and allowing the stars to shine. Enter the new era of NBA archetypes with the super long forward that can do it all rising to prominence. Picture Jonathan Isaac, Jaden McDaniels, Brandon Ingram, but today, we focus on the latest iteration of this breed, Maris Buzelis. Right now, if you think about it, there's no 6'10 point guards. So there's only a few people who can even come close when it comes to ability and athleticism. Maris' game is different. Um, as you can see, you can clearly see the length that he has, but the way he can make plays, he can score at any level too, is just absolutely amazing. Three seconds for Sunrise to go the length of the floor. Got it to Buzelis, the three at the wall. Got it! A lot of people look at him as like being this really tall point guard, but he can pass. He can rebound, he can deflect shots. He's actually a really, really good player outside of just scoring. To Buzelis. At the buzzer, Modest Buzelis. To love to Buzelis, look out! What's the best attribute that you think you bring? For fans that had, didn't watch a lot of the G League and may are maybe not be as familiar with you, what's your best attribute? I think my best attribute is that I could do everything. Um, I'm very versatile. I could play defense, I could play offense, I could block shots, uh, I could shoot the ball, I could pass the ball. I feel like I could do everything on the court, so. Now, this archetype excels by providing rim protection, mobility, ball handling, and consistent shooting from beyond the arc. Midas Buzelis embodies this modern prototype perfectly. If he had more extreme measurements, he'd be labeled another unicorn, but in today's NBA, he's seen as another highly valuable, versatile forward. Born in Lithuania, but raised in Chicago, Midas didn't initially take the basketball. He preferred swimming until a growth spurt in high school led his parents, both former professional basketball players, to steer him toward the sport. You come from a long line of basketball players. Your grandfather, your mom was uh, one of the best basketball players of her generation. So obviously you grew up playing this game. What was your life like as you grew up and started playing this basketball game? Um, my life wasn't was really always around sports. Um, basketball wasn't really a you know hobby for me. I didn't like it, so I was a swimmer. But um, you know, growing into it and yeah, a swimmer. I said wow, it. Wow, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, but um, basketball was always in the genes, so I took advantage of it. His unique length and burgeoning skills quickly made him stand out. Inspired by guard-oriented players like J.R. Smith, Kyrie Irving, Luka Doncic, and Shea Gilgis Alexander. Midas developed a perimeter-oriented game, unusual for someone his size. Okay, so when you, so when you, when it became an obsession, that did it change at all in terms of did you pick anything up from either not even not even necessarily just like NBA guys, but just like people you've watched um, and their skill set. Your skill set's obviously very unique in terms of how they play. Yeah, so I literally like pull up highlights like on my computer, and I'd literally go outside and start doing all the highlights. That's how I learned like how to play. 
and also um obviously going to practice but that's how it like my dad remembered like i'd sit on the computer watch like highlights for like 30 minutes and then go outside and try to like kd them. like kd like mm. like, like jr smith i watch I, <laughs> I fucking love this too <laughs> i love this jr i love I, lo- I love jr smith i don't know why it was something something about him <laughs> and then kyrie kyrie i like watching kyrie we all love jr smith this blend of height and guard skills made him one of the most intriguing prospects in recent memory. Comparisons to Lamar Odom and Franz Wagner highlight his potential. If he leans more towards Wagner, his offensive skills could make him a starting player. Odom's on ball style might make him more valuable off the bench, but both paths offer exciting possibilities. Playing for G League at night, modest average 11.8 points, 5 rebounds, and 1.3 blocks on 58% true shooting. Solid numbers, but scouts see room for improvement, particularly in his strength. Criticisms highlight his finesse play and need for better upper and lower body strength. He must handle the ball with a lower center of gravity and finish through contact more effectively. What are some of the things you're noticing in terms of like a guy like you and you know just the way that the NBA game is trending? Uh, I feel like I can fit on the floor and you know on the floor multiple ways. I can play defense. I can make shots. Whatever the coach, you know, asked me to do, I'm going to do it. And I feel like I'm going to do it to the best of my abilities. I'm very versatile. Who are some of the players that you've enjoyed watching in the playoffs here? Uh, the one guy that stood out to me that I've been watching really closely is Jaden McDaniels. Because I feel like I can be like him defensively. You know, his active hands, the length, and he's just, you know, I feel like he's one of the best defenders in the league. How important is it for you to get drafted really high? It's important, but... I, for me, I feel like the team that, you know, shows the most love and, you know, picks me, that's who I'm going to be loyal to. And it's whatever team picks me, whatever range, it doesn't matter to me. I'm always, you know, going to work hard and, you know, present myself every day. This development art mirrors that of Victor Wemiyama, who's only scratching the surface of his potential. The Spurs, with the number four pick in the draft, could pair Wemiyama with Buzelis, creating a defensive nightmare for opponents. Wimby's generational defense combined with modest Andre Karolinko-like impact could evoke memories of the Spurs' legendary defense with David Robinson and Tim Duncan. Adding a Manu Ginobili type and a Bruce Bowen type of caliber player and defender could replicate one of the all-time great defensive units. The Detroit Pistons are another team I am modest. They're still defining their core with young talents like Kate Cunningham, Jaden Ivey, Asara Thompson, and Jalen Duran. While this situation might lack clarity, it offers potential. Pairing Modest with Asara Thompson as long rangy forwards alongside Durant's interior presence and K and Ivy's defensive prowess could form a premier defensive lineup. The Spurs and the Pistons represent two different paths to a rebuild. One has a certified franchise cornerstone in Wimby and the other boasts a bevy of young talents. These scenarios will shape Modest Buzella's career. Will he rise to the challenge and help his team find his identity? Only time will tell. Stay tuned as we watch this young prospect navigate the NBA landscape, aiming to carve out his place in the next great chapter of basketball history.